Okay, I am Joe Teeter at Teeter's Gunsmithing in Gold Hill, North Carolina. I have here today my Mach 3 rifle, which started out as a Remington 700 ML, and I replaced the factory barrel with a 45 caliber Brooks barrel. It has a 1 in 20 twist. I have a breech plug in it. And the, I'm using the primer modules that came from Luke at Airhead Rifles. I've designed a new kind of brake for this rifle that has the ports actually slanting back. So even though we're going to shoot a bullet at Mach 3 today, because the, the gases are coming back, we're going to have less recoil than the average 12-gauge shotgun. So what I'm going to do today, I normally use sized uh, 275 grain Parker BE or 275 grain Fury bullets in this rifle. But today we're going to try the brand new Hornady bore drivers that just came out. This is the 280 grain Hornady bore driver, just became available in the last few weeks. And I shot a group with them this morning at 100, and I had four shots in about an inch and a quarter, which is not bad. And I had one that went low, so that made my group about two and a quarter inches. So we're going to see if we can shoot this bullet and hit a target at 300 yards with it. Well, you might say, well, what makes this a Mach 3 rifle? Well, the, the shank of this barrel is an inch and quarter in diameter, so it can handle a little bit more pressure. And so I'm going to use here today a slow magnum powder. And I've already measured this out. This is 160 grains by weight of Reloader 17. I like to kind of tap it and make sure the powder goes down the breech plug. And then we're going to load our 280 grain 45 caliber Hornady bore driver. And you're going to see this thing goes down with just like one finger pressure. One finger can push this thing down like that. Makes it easy to load, that's for sure. You want to make sure you got it down though. And we'll take out my drop tube so I don't forget that. So we've got our 160 grains of powder down in here. We've got our bore driver bullet. And now I'm going to add my large rifle magnum primer. So this little brass module holds, I'm using a federal large rifle magnum primer. Goes in the bolt face. I'm going to make sure it's on safe. It's on safe, so I'm going to push it home. And that pushes that little nipple up in the breech plug. And this breech plug has a carbide bushing in it that's got a really, really tiny little hole in it, like 35 thousandths of an inch in diameter. So let's see if we can hit a target at 300 yards. I'm going to assume this rifle is about dead on at 300, so we're going to try it. Here we go. Okay, I've got a level on this rifle because once you start shooting long range, you need to make sure you don't have a can in your rifle. I'm going to try to hold dead center. Here we go. shot a little bit high. I'm going to say I shot about six inches high at 300 yards. Let me see what our velocity is. Our velocity on the chronograph is 3391. So we're a little bit over Mach 3. And I had one guy accuse me of building a rifle that would knock your shoulder off. 
but because of this unique brake, I call it a recoilless brake, because like on a 105 recoilless rifle, some of the gases go back to uh, stop so much recoil. So this is doing the same thing. Gases are coming out like this, but this little ring helps keep those uh, the shock wave off of the shooter. So this Mach 3 rifle was really designed to be able to kill deer at 600 yards with a smokeless muzzleloader. So that's the result of my test today. Have a great day.